you were put in this position. But um, he was showing me like men in authority. Yeah. And a lot of times, you know, as black men, I, I fortunately got a chance to see it, you know, growing up every every day. A man taking spiritual authority, you know, in his household. But a lot of people don't get a chance to see that, wow. you know. Um, and he was showing me that for you, you were able to learn the work ethic, whether it was the imam or I don't know where you learned it from. You you were obedient. Yeah. In that, you know, and that's why you know my father, you know, constantly speaks on being able to see that in you, mm. because you were you were obedient to what you knew. Yeah. And nobody can charge what you don't know against you. Yeah. But um, today I, I believe God is showing you the way to. Be what you never saw. Wow. You know, the to be you. a man of God who represents God, you know, on a daily basis. Um doesn't mean like like he said, it doesn't mean that you don't have slip up, it doesn't mean that you fall, you don't fall, but you were like David. That's what he showed me last night. <laughs> Whoa. Like David, you know, David might have murdered. You know, David might have <laughs> like, like, killed all the men just to get his Whoa. wife. But <laughs> realistically, yeah. right. David was a man after God's own heart. Yeah. And this is the funny heart. thing as well. You know, at yeah. the end of that note, um, you know, God had showed me, you know, with the Lodabar, bar, you know, where people were. Um, <laughs> people were talking about. Like, people were talking about. Um, <laughs> they were talking about giving a name and rename. You know, he was kind of talking about giving a name and renaming yourself, but just knowing who you are inside of God, um, and how the world speaks of you, but they don't know you. Mm -hmm. And um, originally, David, when he went to do his first assignment, you know, that God had had for him, which was you know, slay Goliath, other than, you know, the tending to the sheep and things like that. But when he had to go slay Goliath years before he came became king, the first thing that they that his brothers had said to him when he got there was, you know, why are you here? We know you were conceited. You know, they didn't know, they just saw. It. They yeah. said what they knew. We know you were conceited, you were cocky, <laughs> and we know your heart is wicked. Yeah. That's the thing that stuck out to me. The fact that we know your heart is wicked. Because that's what they saw based off of their own perception. Yeah. Oh God, yeah. the thing that everybody in the Bible knows David for, everybody who knows Christianity, they know David for that David was a man after God's own heart. Yeah. So they spoke directly to his heart and they said it is wicked out of what they knew. Yeah. But when God saw him, he said, You are a man after my own heart. I search the earth from left to right, up yeah. and down, and I look for one man that really wanted me, and you were the one who wow. wanted my So, ah, Jesus, David is the name. <laughs> Your mom named you David for a reason, you know. Jesus. So, regardless of what you've done, regardless of what you've seen, regardless of what you struggle with on a day-to-day -day basis. God doesn't judge you based off of that. Come on. God judges you based off of your earnestness and seeking Him. Come on. How passionate you are to get to know Him. When you fall, you fight just as hard to get back up. Yes, you do. It doesn't Come matter on. what your wife thinks. It doesn't matter what your kids say or think. Yeah. But it's that relationship between you and God. Wow. God and God helped me to get, you know, not even help me to get up, but I know that you love. David, for some reason, his confidence and who God was was completely different. You know, he could kill a man or do whatever he did, but he said 10,000 can fall on my left. I mean, 1,000 can fall on my left and 10,000 in my right, but nothing will touch me because of, who be, because of our relationship. So he knew God for yes. the protector. He knew God is loving. He knew God for who he was. So regardless of what anybody is thinking about you, know, regardless of what anybody the energy that anybody or yeah, the energy yeah, 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 that anybody yeah. spews your yeah. way, um, the thoughts that you feel in the back, you know, that they that you feel that they think about you, none of that matters. That's you right. Know? Um, and just remember your name. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> remember your name. You don't need anything else. Remember your name is 
that's who you are, you know? <laughs> Amen. Um, and he gave me the, the second example of Jesus, just for anybody else who wants to know about the uh, Lord of Rather. He, he, and how people were speaking to your life. He gave the example of Jesus, how when he was being persecuted, you know, in his last days, they called him a blasphemer. Yeah. Because he said he's God. From what they saw, <laughs> they saw blaspheme. But from what God knew, and from what he knew, he was God. So whatever the world says, you know, whether, whether they said you were fast, wherever they said you were um, inattentive, wherever they said, I mean, whether they said um, you were not smart, they said you were dumb, um, regardless of what they said over your life, that was worth based off of what they saw. An algorithm, you know, they, they calculate based off of what they've seen. Wow. I've been around for generations, you know, yeah, doesn't mean that you're a part of that yeah, algorithm yeah, yeah, that they know. Right. It's based off of what he knows about. That's right. You know, they can't calculate how he created you. They, they have limited information. Yeah, so, Jesus. I'm going to leave you guys with that. But yeah, thank you. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs>